We just launched a new free Chrome plugin that allows you to download and upload, AKA share trading view indicator and strategy settings for free. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Aaron Dishner, AKA Moon and Papa from thebettertraders.com where we can teach anyone how to become a better trader. We're working on tons of stuff in the background and this is something that I've asked for and we're finally able to share with the general public. But I just have to say that everyone in our Discord server got access to it back in late September. So essentially what this thing is, as you can see from all of this fun stuff, is that now we have these two new buttons that appear over here on TradingView, allowing us to download any indicator or any strategies settings and share them or just keep a log of the best settings possible. Now, I know that you can do this as far as you making the best settings and having a layout on TradingView, but now you can actually share it with people, which is great. As a bonus, I'm going to be sharing this DCA backtester setting with everybody on YouTube. Now, in order for this to actually work, you have to have access to the DCA backtester, which means you have to join our membership subscription. But still, I want to use this as an example to show you how this works. First, click the link in the description of this video or just search for TradingView parameters and Google Chrome or Google extension or Google plugin, something like that. It'll bring you to this page, but again, the link in the description is going to be way easier. Second thing, rate this. We only have four, four ratings so far. We have 40 users. That's not fair. I don't accept 10%. I want to see a lot of you rating this. This is a really simple plugin, and all it does is it adds these download and upload buttons to it. So what you need to do is first download it by adding it to Chrome or Brave. You can see I'm using Brave here. And once you hit add extension, it'll take a second, and then it's going to pop up these two windows because... Nothing comes for free, guys. So I want you to go subscribe to me on YouTube. Go to our website so you can sign up for our memberships. There's a free 14-day trial for that. But after that, first install, it goes away. So for all of you that are like, pop-ups, it's okay. It's just going to happen the one time. The other thing is as soon as you install it, do me a favor. Go over here to reviews. And after playing with it, let me know what you think. I have some great reviews so far. So I would love to have you let me know what you think about it. Again, this is the most simple, straightforward extension ever. So it shouldn't be that difficult to figure out or use. So over here on TradingView, this is the next part. We can't use the TradingView app that's installed on your computer or your device. It has to be in the browser. It has to be on Brave or Chrome or something like that. It won't work for Firefox. It won't work for Windows. No Microsoft Edge. Sorry. But what you do is you go to a chart that already has an indicator on it. So you can see that I have the DCA backtester here. I'm going to go to the settings for this indicator. And you can see all the settings for the indicator, or rather the strategy, are here. This is awesome because we can see in the strategy tester that these settings work really well. We're looking at 30% profit ever since March for the sole BTC uh, trading pair here on the 15-minute time frame. This trading pair has been doing amazingly well. So let's say that when you're using the DCA backtester, which comes with the subscription to our memberships, and you say, well, I want to try out something else. Like, how does it, you know, what if I use CrossUp instead? Does that improve profitability? Is that going to be better, right? So the whole idea of this is finding the most profitable settings for your strategy, whatever it is. And when you're happy with it, great. You can set up your alerts. You can set it to three commas. You can set it to all trading. And then you can, now you can hit these buttons. So I haven't refreshed my page yet. So I'm going to go ahead. And now that I've installed it successfully, the new, um, the new extension, it's not going to pop up here on the side. Uh, it's just literally going to show up only here on TradingView. So I go to settings and now I get download and upload. So when I hit download, you can see that I just have a download that's over here. So you can't see the pop-up, unfortunately, but it says Sol BTC which is the ticker, it says 15M, 15 minutes, and then DCA backtester, give me the name of the indicator. It's awesome. So now I have a CSV file. So guess what? I'm going to go ahead and open up a, a new chart. So I'm going to do a new layout. I'm going to go ahead and choose another trading pair. I don't know. I'm going to just pick one randomly. So ADA BTC. I haven't tested this out. I'm just picking this literally just to show you how this works. So now I'm going to go to my indicators and I'm going to check, or I'm not going to check. I'm going to click on this guy, which is the same one, the DCA backtester. 
And now that we're here, see that we have the default settings, so it's not helping us out right now. Now, full disclosure, this might look terrible, but I'm just showing you how this works. So I'm gonna upload my settings here. So by uploading it, then I'm going to find and identify my file. And I believe I said it on my desktop. I have to find out where it is. Oh, here it is, it's on my desktop. You can't see this stuff, I'm sorry. I'm not doing a complete screen share, but there we go. Parameters have successfully uploaded close. So does it actually work well? Is this actually gonna be a profitable setup? <laughs> but I can go here and I can see that we have all the same parameters set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable close short as my deal start condition. And you can see that, well, it does have some trades on here. It didn't have that checked. That's good to know if you're gonna be using at least a DCA back tester. So it had the right setting in there. It has the right settings for everything else that's the same as this chart for Solana, but it didn't have this checked. So now that we're looking at this, we can see, well, did it close this one? Yeah, but we have a hanging, oh, no, oh, oh. It's actually kind of okay. Oh, we just got another safety trade right there. Not nearly as good, uh, but this is again, kind of the cool part of this. This doesn't look great at all. Um, it looks pretty sad. Oh, that's why too. Okay, so it doesn't do initial capital either. Good thing that I'm doing this now with you. So I can see it's yielding about 13%. Uh, we got 29%, 78 total closed trades over here. So for this specific strategy, it's going to act and perform differently, okay? So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go um, and open up a new layout. And we'll go ahead for this trading pair for ADA BTC, and now I'm gonna add um, RSI. So maybe I have fancy schmancy settings for RSI. Maybe I like to use a weird amount like 11 and high low two. And I really like EMA seven with the bull and band, Bollinger band standard deviation at four. So this is my magic sauce right here. Okay. This is the best. It's not, I'm literally just putting in random numbers just to show you that I can take this and I can download the settings for RSI so that I can use it on something else. So again, the same thing. Now I can share this with someone because it's in my downloads as a CSV file. So then I can go to a brand new chart, make a new layout, and now I'm gonna go to uh, BTC USDT. And let's say that you really like this setting, so you're sharing it with me. So I'm gonna go ahead, find RSI, I'm gonna add it, and then here I'm going to go ahead and upload the settings that you love for ADA BTC. I have to find it. Here we go, ADA BTC. So now I'm uploading it, great. So now we have all the exact same parameters that you set up, but you shared with me your really good settings. So instead of you like taking a screenshot, now you can freely share and upload and download and all that fun stuff. So it works both for indicators like this and it works for strategies like this. There is a difference, an indicator um, is going, it's not gonna actually give you the back testing performance. It's not the exact same. Indicator is gonna work best for uh, like RSI, MACD, um, any sort of, I mean, even the TBO is an indicator, but we have a strategy that's a little bit different and the strategy allows us to run a strategy test on it. So that way we can figure out the profitability of said strategy. Plus we can generate alerts from both. So that is essentially it. So I'd love for you to download it, try it out. Let me know in the comment section down below how it is. And don't forget to leave a review on Chrome, please. That's like the least you could do. So I hope you enjoyed this new tool. And until the next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.